Hi everyone, welcome to this next session of Kaplan's USMLE Step 1 Q-Blast. My name is Dr. Matt Alvin. I'm an incoming medical intern going into radiology. Let's get those higher points right now. So with this question, before you even read it, you're there on test day, you see we've got a figure, okay? That means you're gonna to have to interpret the figure before you go to those answer choices. Question reads, the diagram shows changes in blood pressure and heart rate in an animal with intact reflexes in response to drug X, agonist, and drug Y, antagonist. So perhaps one of the things you're asking yourselves is, why did they tell me it's an animal with intact reflexes? Critical thinking, okay, keep that in mind. The drug X, it's an agonist. The drug Y is an antagonist. Assume that the antagonist effects will last for the duration of the experiment and that the agonist effects are transient. And then the question reads, drug X and drug Y are most likely to be which of the following. So common question, you're gonna see this pattern appear a lot. It's basically an experimental setup and it's asking you to identify drugs based upon their effects on heart rate and blood pressure. So what you wanna do is, before you even look at those answer choices, is take a look at that diagram. You see we got blood pressure on the top, heart rate on the bottom, and then you see we give X at the first point, Y at the second point, and then X at the third point. And remember what the question said, when we give X, the agonist, the effects are transient. So it should make sense to you that when we first give X, something happens, but then it goes away, and then we give Y, which is permanently there, and then X on top of Y after that. Again, keep this stuff in mind. So what happens when we give X? Well, first off, blood pressure goes up, and what happens to heart rate? It goes down. And then we keep going, we see blood pressure normalizes, heart rate normalizes, then we give drug Y, and drug Y does nothing to blood pressure, but it increases heart rate. And then finally, with Y always there, X is given again, and what happens? Well, blood pressure goes up, but look what's different here. In the presence of Y, the heart rate goes up as well. It doesn't go down. That's the critical analysis that you all must do prior to looking at those answer choices. Now let's look at the answers. So we see here we've got a lot of different answer choices, but some help. You see that A, B, and C all have isoproteranol for drug X, whereas D, E, and F all have norepinephrine, versus for drug Y, it's three different combinations there, okay? So as long as you can figure out what drug X is first, that'll up your chances by a great deal. So take a few moments, select what you think's the best answer here. Okay, so the correct answer is choice D, all right, which as you see in the answers is norepinephrine for drug X and atropine for drug Y. So some key points for any type of drug tracing problem. Number one, always think about blood pressure first and heart rate second. And then two, think about changes in blood pressure and we're having some sort of direct effect on blood vessels versus changes in heart rate can deal with two things, either a baroreceptor effect, i.e. why they told you in the question stem that the animal's reflexes were intact because we have a baroreceptor reflex that all of you should be familiar with, or a direct effect on the heart. If the agonist raises blood pressure, it's got to be a presser, and only atropine would increase heart rate without affecting blood pressure. So again, I know this is a little bit complex to follow, so let's go back and look at this, this diagram here. We gave X, what happened? Blood pressure went up. So right off the bat in those answer choices, you should be able to recognize that it's got to be norepinephrine as drug X, because we know that that's an alpha-1 agonist. It constricts the blood vessels, raising blood pressure. Isoproteranol would not do that. It's a beta-1, beta-2 agonist that would not constrict the blood vessels. The blood pressure would not go up. So right off the bat, you're between D, E, and F, and then figuring out what drug Y is. So look at the diagram. When we give drug Y, there's no impact on blood pressure whatsoever, and all that happens is heart rate goes up. The only one of those three, atropine, phentolamine, and propanolol that would do that is atropine. That's pharmacology background knowledge that you have to have to get this on test day. So 
some high yield takeaways from this problem. Know the drugs. That's the biggest thing I can tell you. Norepinephrine, it's an alpha-1 agonist. Raises blood pressure via vasoconstriction. And what happens? What happens to heart rate? We saw in the diagram that it goes down. Why? Because this animal, as the question stem said, had intact reflexes. The barrel receptor reflex will cause a reflex bradycardia with an increase in blood pressure. Atropine, on the other hand, is a muscarinic M2 receptor antagonist, meaning it's in the heart, not in the blood vessels. So no impact on blood pressure. It's simply going to say, hey, you know what? We're going to get rid of the parasympathetic side of things for the nervous system. We're only going to increase the heart rate, that sympathetic fight or flight response, but blood pressure is going to stay the same. That's why that was our answer choice. The other drugs, fentolamine, propranolol, isoproteranol, you see I've got there what type of drug they are, the different types of antagonists and agonists, their effects on blood pressure and heart rate. This is stuff that you gotta know. A lot of it is memorization, but this is where memorization can only take you so far. It's being able to take what you know and apply it to a situation, which in this case is a drug tracing. That's why you're here with me today to practice this stuff. The next step for you is go off on your own, try some more of these questions in Kaplan's Q Bank in your own studies. It's gonna lead to higher points, at least for pharmacology section on test day. Thanks for joining me for Kaplan's USMLE Step 1 Q Blank. I'm Dr. Matt Alvin, and I'll see you next time.